Cover editor Shada Naidu and reporter Prakash Naidu sat down with the National Director of Public Prosecutions, Menzi Similani, for an interview that features in the latest issue of the Financial Mail. Here's what advocate Similani had to say. Do you, it doesn't do you exist. believe the FCA so, is independent as, as the head? So, so, again, depending on which ideology, which ideological school you come from, which ideology you pursue, mm -hmm. you then put the argument. Now, we argue that what is created in the scheme, in the Constitution and the NPA Act, is a framework that seeks to protect the functional areas of the NPA. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the prosecution area of the NPA, to say, what is this about the NPA that is important, that sorts, that are sought to be protected in the Constitution? Sure. It is its work, the way it functions. Why? Remember that the NPA is a product of the Constitution, and the Constitution is a product of a negotiated settlement. During the World Trade Negotiation Constitution, sure, sure. there were negotiations that said, how do we move from the past, and you have to now understand what the past was, to the present, and understand those areas of mistrust. And what we got was a compromise that said, okay, here's a compromise position vis-a-vis -vis the Constitution. And as part of that compromise was a compromise around the prosecuting authority, and that's what we got. So. It left, in my view, the, co the NPA, the prosecutorial environment, mm -hmm. within state control, but at the same time provided checks and balances to prevent any potential abuses or actual abuses in the future. And the different provisions that we are seeking to interpret now are actually those that seek to ensure that these checks and balances, whilst at the same time leaving the authority for the institution in the executive. Sure. So you would know, for example, that there's in any state, there's three branches of government, isn't yes. it? Yes, of course. The NPA is not in the judiciary, right? The NPA is not in the legislature, right? Yes. And it's not in the executive. It is in the executive. You only is have that where you located? Okay. That's where it is. It's, in the, it's, in, it's part of the executive branch of government. Because there's no fourth, remember? Oh, yes. There's okay. only three. So it's in the executive. You've recently made proposals on what you see needs to needs to happen in terms of your strategic plan for um, for for for, the, for your department. And Minister Jeff Karebe yes. has um, is opposed to some of it. For example, you've been in the job for only no, four months. Not. Okay, you've been in the job only for four months. Is it enough time, for example, for you to make an informed decision about? Things like disbanding units such as the asset forfeiture unit. No, it's not. You're wrong. It's not been disbanded. No, I'm saying proposal. one of the proposals. One of one it's of the not. proposals. Well, that's that's been an issue. It's about whether to get rid of the of the AFU and and and, 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 and what. Well, in terms it's not, of public it's not an issue in NPA. No, but what I'm saying is, what is the decisions that you've been making or the proposals that you've been making in terms of your strategic plan? Is it, you've been in the job for only four months, is it enough time for you to be making informed decisions uh, and, and present plans like, uh, you know, demotion of, 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 uh, of people to, to lower courts, for example, and... But nobody's been demoted. No, I'm not saying that it, people have been demoted, but those are some of the proposals that are, that are out there. No, there are certain things that are just a day-to-day -day function. For example, let me start with the latter. No, but what Going I'm asking you, have you had enough no. time Plains in your time. current role? I want to get to okay. Plenty of time. A prosecutor going to court is a core function. Otherwise, you're not a prosecutor. You can only prosecute in court. If you're hired as a prosecutor, you prosecute in court. And when people get recruited as prosecutors and they get employed as prosecutors, it's part of their job description and job spec that you prosecute. That's why even the requirement would require that you must be qualified to be able to appear in a court. So that's, that's clear. There's no doubt about it. So you can't be a prosecutor and then say, I'm not going to go to the court court. It's like being employed as a doctor in a hospital and you say, no, no I'm not going to go to the wards. It just doesn't work, right? That's the first thing. So all that has happened there is, is we've said, all senior prosecutors also needs to go to all the courts in the country, including the lower courts. So I can't be a prosecutor and be a deputy director of public prosecutions and say, I only work in the high court, only nowhere else. And I said, no, you can't be, because 
when you are interviewed for the job, you are interviewed for the job on the basis that you prosecute in the courts, because the NPA functions in the courts as prosecutors. So, yes, you prosecute in the high court, Joburg High Court, as it is called. If there's a case in the Johannesburg Magistrates Court or in Randbeck, that must be prosecuted and it's assigned to you. You can't say, sorry, I don't go to the lower court. And those prosecutors who have not been going to the lower courts have been placed with that difficulty to say, on what basis do you refuse? Public trust should. is important in any respect, but what I'm disputing with you is when you say public perceptions determines the integrity. It's incorrect. It okay. can never be. Can, can there, there can never be such a suggestion. There will be, out of the history and what is known and what has happened, in some it has perceptions that say this individual is likely to behave in a manner that is not consistent with what we expect of the institution because this is how we assess this individual's previous activity, the way this individual thinks, you know, the way this individual um, you know, sort of engages politically. Now that's legitimate. There are definitely people that think that way and who are concerned about it. And I don't think we should run away from that. Equally, there are people who actually do believe that. With what we've seen on our event, we have a very firm belief that this person will do exactly what we expect the institution to do in terms of the constitution. So what I'm saying to you, we are a society that is not necessarily thinking 100% the same way. People think differently. I completely Not only for that. political reasons, but for many other reasons that mm -hmm. are not political. So I do accept and agree with you that all of those perceptions count. All of those perceptions count. And I still go to many more others for different reasons. One, I'll go to court in cases where there are fundamental policy issues being debated. But what for example, oh yeah, there's a major and fundamental Jujur. issue in Jubju. It's about the emphasis that we've decided to go for. To say and that is? if the facts fit the bill, we will go for murder even in cases where traditionally we've gone for culpable homicide. Uh. And that case was the first case. And I think that Evan wrote to the city press on that to explain exactly how we did it. Because since, since December <coughs> last year, we've been debating. So you didn't instruct your process. If, if it is murder, no. then it's all the more reason to deny bail, isn't it? No, 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 it's not. Uh, Bail has got nothing to do with the type of offence. But surely it's Bail the seriousness about, of the of course. Of the, of it's, a it's among, amongst others. It's, it's the seriousness it's of the offence. Okay, I'm going to direct question. Did you tell the prosecutor not to oppose no, bail? because I don't speak to prosecutors. I speak to DPPs. Okay. Directors of public And was, was your wish so not to... Pro, uh, not to uh, to, to not oppose bail? We shouldn't oppose bail. Shouldn't have. No, no, we shouldn't. Okay. We shouldn't. We're always going to lose it because uh, the conditions and the assessment of bail, we're not meeting those requirements. Do you understand? You deny bail mm -hmm. to somebody who's that, that you are not guaranteed will be in court next time because the person doesn't have a fixed address. So in other words, the person can disappear if released. Bail is only a deposit. That's how bail works. That's why you find that usually the people that do not get bail are usually the poorest. <laughs>